Today on Ram Center, men's and women's basketball both play Millersville. Sosinski reached 1,000 points. All the latest scores and stats and much, much more. Ram Center starts now. Welcome to a brand new episode of Ram Center, brought to you by the Office of Student Affairs. I'm Ashley Williams. And I'm Josh Swift. Josh, what are you going to do now that the football season just ended last night? I'm sad that the football season did end. It was a great season. And I'm definitely looking forward to the NBA season because so many good teams are in the game right now. And I'm waiting to see how it all folds out. Exactly. And there are plenty of games ahead of plenty, us yes. with that. But with the Super Bowl, were you feeling it, not feeling it? It was it was way better than the last Super Bowl last year, mm -hmm. but it wasn't a disappointing Super Bowl. Both teams fought to the finish, and I was excited and proud of both teams. It was a good game, yes. but I was focused on the halftime show. Yeah. Katy Perry did her thing, but <laughs> Beyonce had the best show of all time. Yes, she did. <laughs> Let's talk about what happened in the Westchester sports. Our men's basketball team pulled off a nail-biter on the road with a 79-72 victory over Millersville. Paris Grant led the way with 22 points and was on fire beyond the three-point line, hitting four of six. Ben Mingle, though, chipped in with 19 points for the Golden Rams, who are now one game under 500 with a record of 10 and 11. Really good win for our guys. I'm sure they'll get that winning percentage over 500 yes. before the season's over. So the Lady Rams are having a great season, well over 500, and are on a four-game winning streak coming into their game against Millersville. That streak now sits at five games after a 66-52 drubbing of the Lady Marauders. Brittany Zizinski led all scorers with 14 points, and Shakisha Steelhook posted a double-double with 13 points and 13 boards. The win brings their record to an astounding 16-3 and keeps them in second place in the PSAC East Division. The men's basketball team are struggling this season, but they still need to find that chemistry to get it rolling so they can climb back to the top teams and of the PSAC. Get it there. And they have time to get it they there do. by the end of they the do. season. They do. They honestly they do. Should. But um, Brittany with 1,000 points. That's, that's amazing. And it's only her junior year. Only her junior year. Congrats. Yeah, Keep congrats, that up. Congrats. The gymnast team lost a close one to Townsend University by a score of 188 to 190. Majesta Valentine scored a 9.725 on the vault to place fifth. She also scored a 9.75 on the balance beam to finish seventh. The gymnastics team still worked hard. In fact, two Golden Rams gymnasts captured weekly honors. Sophomore Majesta Valentine was chosen as co-gymnast of the week for her effort in last weekend's quad meet against Division I North Carolina, William & Mary, and host Towson. Along with Valentine, Madison Brett was, also was honored with the Rookie of the Week from her effort in the quad meet in her specialist role in the slower team, ending with a score of 9.675. It's good to see Westchester sports teams continue to see early in the semester. Up next, we have the Back in the Day segment, an exclusive all-access with the women's basketball team. Then, the Cold Cut segment with J-Rom and J-Rad, and Pro Sports segment with Samara Rosenfeld. Up first, in our Back in the Day segment, we have Corey Blake from the basketball team. Oh, look at Corey. That big head. He still can't beat me in basketball. <laughs> the basketball is a little bit bigger than his bit, head, though. A little bit. A tad bit. A tad bit. But keep up the good work, Corey. Look at that intensity. Yeah, intensity. He okay. grew up. He did grow up a little bit. Yeah, definitely <laughs> up, up in height. But um, up next, we have Danielle Kuhn from the track team. Looks like she's about to run a world record over there. She looks like she's winning that race. Yes. You see her leg muscles? Yes, that, that's how I want to look <laughs> after going to the gym. And then, look at still keeping it up. Exactly. I bet she's winning this race, too. And then lastly, we have Haj Shabazz from the football team. Looks like a little league football. <laughs> yeah, the arms and legs are a little bit skinnier than yeah. now, but he still looks like he's doing his thing. He looks even more focused and a little bit mean. That's what you gotta look like <laughs> in football. But that's the intensity, the, you need to stare him down. Yeah. But now let's head over to Jerome with the cold cut segment. Hey guys, welcome to Cold Cuts Duel of the Week. I'm your host, J-Rom, and I'm only here so I don't get fined. 
and I'm your host, J-Rad. I know absolutely nothing. Good. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get on with the technicalities of this show. Now, we'll be picking two clips. I'll take one. J-Rad will take the other. You guys at home will vote for the winner. So, let's get it started. Um, so, J-Rad, my clip is uh, Portia Speller. Uh, she's going to hit a sick crossover right Woo! here. She's going to go to the hole, and she gets fouled, makes the layup. That's just an athletic play all over the board. I mean, gets the defender on the wrong foot, takes her off the dribble, gets to the hole, gets the contact, and she still finishes. Athletic play. I mean, solid guard play. So if you like that action right there, then you need to vote hashtag JROM for that duel of the week. Let's see what you got, J-Rom. All right, all right, all right. So for this play, Lincoln takes it. They get a breakaway in this. James Jordan slams it home with a slam dunk. You just got to look at that. Look at that. Look at how he slows himself down. Prepares himself for the dunk. He could have gone for a simple layup right there. No, he decided to make it look pretty. I mean, he is like six seven. Ah, that doesn't matter. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll we'll give you some props for that one. But what really matters is what the people at home think. So you guys watch these plays. You can see them on Instagram. You can see them on Twitter. Get on and vote. Remember, if you like my play, which is a pretty good play, uh, hashtag JRom. And if you like J Rad's play, hashtag like J Rad. There you go. So, thanks for joining us. Till next week, we'll come back with the winner of this week's duel, and we'll get you some more duels. Uh, go Rams. The Westchester women's basketball team is off to a great start this season, thanks largely in part to the work of first-year head coach Kiera Wooden. I caught up with Coach Wooden before their game at Millersville to discuss her strategies for the game and her overall theme for this season. We plan on pressing them. We plan on playing them in man-to-man. -man. But our goal is to always press. We're trying to turn teams over. We're trying to get out in transition. We're trying to not have to set up a half-court offense if we don't have to. Our theme this year is actually all in. And it basically just means that we're all committed. The coaching staff, the players, we're committed to trying to be the best team that we can possibly be. We were good before, but now this year is all about us being better. And the only way we can do that is if we're all in, committed to the same goal. Junior guard Brittany Szynski has been instrumental to the Lady Rams' success this season. I caught up with Brittany and asked her how she felt her game has improved over the last year. Um, I think I improved most on passing, uh, being able to see the floor and kind of getting my teammates the ball more, um, especially like inside the post. Uh, I didn't really do a good job of that last year as much as I did this year, I think. Um, yeah, I definitely have tried to be more vocal, especially being captain, kind of trying to step up into that leadership role and uh, telling my teammates like where to be at on the court, and, court, and especially because we play so many different defenses, kind of like telling everyone where to be at and um, making sure everyone knows like what's going on. After a long and exciting football season, unfortunately, it has come to an end. So this week, I will be giving out awards that I feel certain players deserve. Rookie of the Year, Giants wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. After missing the first four games of the season with a hamstring injury, Beckham Jr. finished the season with 91 receptions for 1,305 yards and 12 touchdowns and made what many people call the catch of the year. The most improved team goes to the Dallas Cowboys, who finished the season 13-5. and Des Bryant and DeMarco Murray proved to be critical to the team's success. Bryant had 88 receptions for 1,320 yards and 16 touchdowns, while Murray rushed for 1,845 yards and 13 touchdowns. Last but not least, the MVP award goes to Aaron Rodgers of the Green Bay Packers. Rodgers led the league's top-ranked scoring offense and was only the second quarterback in NFL history to throw 35 or more touchdown passes with five or fewer interceptions. That's all for Pro Sports. I'm Samara Rosenfeld. Ashley and Josh, back to you. Thanks, Samara, and thank you, Westchester, for tuning in to this week's episode of Ram Center. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at WCU Ram Center. Until next week, go Rams.